in the past 10 years between WMUR-TV and the Imes Communication Group has clearly been our move from the house on Elm Street to this high-technology facility located in Manchester's historic mill yard. That move couldn't have been made possible without the engineers at WMUR-TV, and they were rewarded for their efforts in 1990 by winning an Excellence in Engineering Award, a national award that they and six other stations across the country were recognized for the outstanding achievements in the development of a television station, in the, the laying of lines, the putting together of all the technological aspects that you enjoy every night as a Channel 9 viewer. We now take a look and a salute to the engineering team at WMUR-TV. I'd say the functions of engineering is pretty much to keep the station on the air and keep the equipment running. The importance of repair work in engineering mm -hmm. at a station this size is pretty much because without the repair work, the equipment wouldn't function properly and therefore the product will not get out to the public. All ahead, live tonight from the Deerfield Fair. Last week we were at a Deerfield Fair and we did a remote, we brought our whole newscast, 5.30 and 6 o'clock news, out to the fair so that people can actually see what we go on and what goes on behind the scenes. We'll go out in the morning or the day of and bring out their remote truck if need be or our live van, depending what's needed in the case. And we have a couple production people that come out with us. We'll set up cameras by uh, camera cables, mic cables, uh, audio, AC. Once you set everything up as far as your, uh, your cable runs and your cameras are in, Master Control will tune the shot in. 6, 30, 5, 33, go back the other way. 35, 36, lock it down right here, this is good. From there, it goes back through the station and then back out to the mountain and then back out to everybody's home. So when the talent and the producers and the directors show up, all they have to do is put everybody in place and the show runs. Three, two, one. You're up. Once again, we're coming to you live from the 250-acre Deerfield Fairgrounds. We're going to have much more from you from this, the state's largest agricultural fair and New England's oldest family fair throughout our broadcast. There are times where you don't find out something will happen, spot news. I mean, like this more, uh, this morning we were out in Allenstown, and there was a uh, hostage sniper situation. We had to go there, set up, be ready to go, and within 15 minutes... Basically, that gets you going, because your adrenaline gets you running, and you don't stop, and then you don't think about what's going on until you're done. It just becomes second nature. You just slip into a gear and just do it. And the average public at home doesn't really see it and they don't really, I don't think they know how much goes into it, but it's, you know, part of the job and someone's got to do it, really. News 9's Andy Hirschberger is in Allenstown at this hour and joins us now. Never mind. And thumbs up to the engineers. They always do a terrific they job. They do indeed. And you know, one of those engineers, Bob Walker, and I worked with that live truck when we first got a live truck here back in the early 80s. And it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about how tough their jobs 